you know, uh, there are bands that even when they are on tour, they're always working, like working in new songs, new compositions. Is that Encifer on that kind of band? Right now, for example, that a year has passed since your last recording, that you are already thinking of the next songs, the next album. Uh, kind of like working on on the road is it's it's not so much our thing actually. So uh, we tried that one pretty many years ago, and uh, in the end, on that four or five weeks tour, we did not get that much that much done actually so uh it's 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 better for for us to to concentrate on writing the music when we're not on the road yeah. you have more more time you have more well privacy and all that one there's not that much like uh distractions uh like uh taking part for example on tour you're the only place where you're actually alone is when you take a shit yeah yeah that is that is the only place where you can <laughs> be totally alone for a few minutes and uh it's it's kind of hard to work when you're taking a shit for example so uh, we do it off off the road right good um well petri for you personally um it ever happens to you when you were composing for Enciferon that you write something like an idea or a song and you have to discard that because you thought that it won't be suitable for Enciferon. I mean, is there patterns for what you can do and not do on Enciferon? Or did you any time write something that you say, okay, this is good, but it's not good for Enciferon? Um, yeah, that has happened quite a few times already. And I think it probably will <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Uh, but the thing is that we have also pretty high, high self-criticism level that we, if it's not good for me, I don't think that it's going to be good for the band either. So probably even never going to show them the idea <clears throat> at all, unless they really, really want to fucking hear it. So that that's the way. So, um. Yeah, but well, we we all work together, sit sit at the rehearsal place, figuring a way ways to to make it work. If we cannot make it work, then we just forget it. All right. Well, uh, coming back to the subject of festivals, um, well, agendas of rock and everything. Um, you know, people think that well, if you are going to the festival as a fan. You think that everything is cool in a festival, but mm, it's normal that for a band that is touring a lot like you guys, sometimes you don't even know where you are. You don't have time because you arrive late. Uh, backstage is not that cool. So um, for you, Petri, what was the best and the worst festival experience of your life touring with Um Hmm. Well, let's say in this kind of way that 10 years ago, this was all so much easier. Yeah. When we were young, let's say that way. When you're like between 20, 25, it doesn't matter if you're sleeping a couple of hours and then taking an early morning flight to the, to the festival. And uh, um, well, on the, the last, last festival what we did was uh, in Germany last yeah. Saturday and uh, we had six Finnish bands playing in one day. So uh, we were sharing the bus with uh, Sonata Arctica and Fintro and also Omnium Gathering was playing over there and uh, Children of Bottom too. And uh, we were talking with these guys that, you know, was it so hard, this rough traveling like 10 years ago and everybody just said no. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's it's kind of hard to say uh, what is the best best experience in a in a festival. It's uh, it's usually combined with all the stuff what is happening during that day. There is a lot of going on. Uh, if everything works on stage, that is the the main 
main concern always yeah. that uh, there's going to be some whatever technical stuff going on in the behind the scenes what probably the audience don't have any clue about but uh, the band will know on stage if something is not working correctly and uh, um, like I already mentioned the self-criticism is pretty high so uh, if there is some kind of little problems evolving during the set it, it's hard to concentrate on the show itself when you're try to like troubleshooting <laughs> throughout the songs what is wrong and how can we fix it and uh, so called so um, if everything works there is no delays you don't have to sit in a traffic jam on the highways um, catering works all that stuff you know then then it's always a happy experience yeah Indeed. Well, Petri, just to finish the interview, uh, one last thing. It happens a lot, especially in festivals, that you have to play the most known songs of the bands. Because uh, normally in a festival, uh, a fan is the only chance that has to see the band in a year or in a couple of years. Yeah. When you are doing a venue, when you are doing your own tour, you, you can play more unknown songs or maybe songs that you don't play that much yeah but it's not the case in festivals so i was wondering which is the song that you are already tired of playing but you have to because the fans are expecting for you to play that song um it kind of depends on how much we have recently played that song yeah. and is it also getting the uh, the wanted like uh, attention from the audience because uh, we have already already noticed on 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 our own headlining tours that in some places some songs work better than others yeah so uh, it's 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 kind of difficult to say because uh, then then we usually change the set a little bit and also uh, um, well, like like I said, we also want to vary vary the um, the set list in that way that uh, it's also good for people, the fans mm -hmm. to come to see the show. That there is also something what we haven't played in in years or just just like older songs, and uh, basically try to get the um, the set to work really good. You know, there's the uh, the the beginning, the middle, and the end that everything goes in a smooth flow, that there is no awkward moments to get it flow really good. Uh, it makes it well, more better for the audience. You can kind of notice that, okay, here's comes to a little bit more chilled out part. And after that one, we pick it, pick up the pace again. And uh, it's, it's more fun for us also to play a longer set, which is actually thought through.